Hello everyone, this is Kanya with another video about Skyrim VR mods. And today I am going to talk about the new updates in Spell Siphon, especially also the new tutorial. So let's jump right in. But before we get started, let me first show you what this mod can do. Now, a little bit slower, what you get here are two spells, Ward and Draw. You get these spells by uh, using the Bind Shout that you get in turn when you read the Spell Siphon book. And with these spells, basically everything circles around these spells. So the Ward basically just shields you. Outside of combat, you don't get the actual Ward effect, you just get a Light. And inside of battle you get the ward. The ward saves you from both magic and melee attacks. And if you time the ward exactly uh, before an attack, you get the nice uh, slow motion effect. And the draw here, that is where the magic happens. So you can suck magic out of your surroundings. For example, if I draw out of the environment, I get this fireball. If I draw out of anything that has a health bar, it, living in not in this case but anything that kind of lives and moves um, gives me the life spell and that is a shock spell here and what you just saw here the surroundings that was a combination that was a combo a woven power combo so if i take the last element here that is drawing out of death I get the last element that is here frost uh, frost uh, ice storm spell and whenever I change the combo I get this nice uh, woven power combi uh, combo effect so this just means that you do more damage afterwards than you did before because it uh, it improves it, it increases your um, your magicka regeneration and that scales your damage there are many more things one is, for example, that you can get bound weapons. And using these bound weapons while you have an element, uh, while you are attuned to an element, um, gives you effects like, for example, this. That's an ice storm that freezes all enemies nearby. So far, so good. I have many things not explained, but for these things you can get the tutorial. Before we start with uh, the tutorial though, um, I want to tell you that the Spell Siphon version 3.0 um, changed the, a lot of things. So if you are used to the older Spell Siphon, you should definitely do the tutorial because the combo, especially the combo, uh, changed. So now you don't uh, have combos when you um, when you hit an enemy with a new uh, element, but it really is just about casting the spell that attunes you to the new element and attuning you to a new element always grants you woven power. And there are many more changes that kind of come with this, but uh, these that's the most important point. So, but the thing that I really wanted to show you, and I love the fact that I am currently in my playthrough also hanging out here at the college, is that there is a brand new, very well thought through tutorial. And what you want to do is to open your inventory and search for a book called Spell Siphoning. That's the one you want to search for. Read this. You will have that in your, in your inventory when you start the game. If you read this, you can read into the lore that's behind of the mod. Um, and if you close it, you will get this question that allows you to start the tutorial or to not start the tutorial and just go on with your life. Um, if you don't start the tutorial, you get the option of 
only enabling the achievement quest that is uh, that kind of points you to what can even be done with the uh, with the spell staff mod it's very interesting and kind of provides you with a little challenge and get into that later so let's start the tutorial you get a new quest spell siphoning which essentially teaches you everything you need to know focus on bind that's the first task so if we check the quests here focus on bind that means you wanna what no that means you wanna use the bind shout that you got when you uh, when you read the book and then just shout and shouting gives you these two spells that I already mentioned and then it goes on convert draw to ward and ward to draw using reverse hmm that's something different so what you got here in addition to the regular spell siphoning tutorial that is the spell siphoning research this kind of delves into the more intricate and um, special things that you can do for example um, switching left and right hand um, how to use spell siphon together with melee weapons or staves and other things and just in general how to uh, how to tweak it to your liking and this gives you the main objectives of how uh, how to actually even use it so that just tells us draw and cast a weak world element spell three times so that's just drawing out of the environment three times and then we have this quest completed and then we get a new quest to for example in this case attack uh, intercept and attack with a ward rebuild the broken ward break your ward and cast ward out of combat and in combat and thus learn about how the ward spell works so if that was too fast for you, you can always go back and read about how you can even do that. Because, um, because the, the mod provides you with the necessary knowledge just uh, alongside with the tutorial. So here you can read into the ward or you can read into the ward break, for example. So if you feel like you don't want to do the full tutorial, you can just reread the book and close it again and that starts the same question again and if you now go with the same answer that you had before nothing will change but if you now for example in this case stick to no you get the question if you want to have the achievements and then I want this so let's track my achievements that means the mod gives you all the pages so you can read everything that you want to read here um, about the mod. If you don't want to do the full tutorial, you can still read everything. And it also gives you a very interesting or very uh, um, medium to very difficult uh, quest of spell siphoning mastery. So for example, gaining more than 400% magicka regeneration by creating woven power, that means um, every stack of woven power gives you 25% so that's a lot of stacks that you need to do and this is just the medium difficulty if you go on in the end you have 800 magicka regeneration by creating woven power this is very difficult it's gonna, t gonna take you a while to get there but it's possible and that's what the mastery quest is for so that you kind of get a feeling for uh, this is actually possible for example 20 well-timed deflections, so timed warding, using an imbued weapon while not equipped with ward. So this is very interesting, so you kind of get to know how you can uh, how you can use Spell Siphon as a Spell Siphon Master. That was it for today. Do check out this mod, it's fantastic, it changes your game drastically, and I would say this is a must-have mod for Skyrim VR. And if you want to stay informed about new Skyrim VR mods and check out some gameplay every now and then, also of other games, plus Skyrim VR of course, um, hit the subscribe button and don't forget the bell. Alright, see you in the next video.